Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and today we're playing Reigns Three Kingdoms. Now this is a mobile game that's adapted to the PC, and for those who play the original Reign, it's basically a decision-making game that you try to balance the powers of different factions within a kingdom. But for Three Kingdoms, this is actually more story-driven, and there is actually a combat mode. I have not played this game, so I'm eager to try this out. And let's see how it goes. And we'll see if my historical knowledge of the period will come in handy when playing this game. Okay, I guess we have to set it up first. We'll use all the standard settings for now. And this is how the game goes. You basically swipe left or right to answer questions, and it's designed for mobile, but it's working fine. Let's go yes. You can always reopen your tracker by pressing that button at the bottom of your screen. I guess this one. Sounds good. Any questions? No. Or, oh, didn't see the prompt. We're in a synaptic testing lab. We don't know. Go with the flow. Are you sure? A sweet smell fills your nostrils. And I guess, so once you get this prompt, doesn't matter what you select. And we're losing reality here. And going back to Three Kingdoms period, what is our start date here? Jingzhou 183. Yellow turbot's about to happen. Thank heavens you're breathing. Did you hit your head? Got a villager. No, but we feel dizzy. Would you like something to eat? I'm happy to share my supplies. So I guess we have resources. And you can see that we can get resources with either prompt and the increase it looks the same i'm starving we may be humble people with simple lives but we would be honored to welcome you into our community so this is a people indicator this is a resource indicator and we don't know the effect but we can see what it affects right Thank you. We found you just lying here. These streets grow more unsafe by the day, and yet the military does nothing. So these are the different factions or resources we have to manage. Bunch of layabouts that better things to do. Hmm. And it dropped it. That's fine. As long as it doesn't drop to zero, we're okay. Alright, enough negativity, we can't avoid the turmoil of the land, but in our demise lies a sure path to virtue and morality. We've got a scholar here. Now, you don't want it to be too high, because I think if you max out a faction, you also have negative impact as well. What is that symbol? Or, what is that symbol? Ah, who? That's a flat baton representing the moral rectitude of the scholar and the officials. Uh, essentially, you hold it in front of you, and it was originally designed to keep notes. So you meet the emperor, or you go to court, you hold this in front, but this became symbolic eventually. And you have some really fancy ones for fancy officials made of jade, made of ivory, but originally they're made of wood, because you're supposed to write on them. And you also uh, carve notes, and you would actually scratch them off as well uh, with a sort of a sharp knife. Mr. Mirage Mir. Ah, Shui Jing Xianshan, I think. The guy who would uh, introduce the idea that Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong are two important people that you need to get. How interesting, yep. See how your decisions move these values at the top of the screen. A wise ruler seek equilibrium. We will try to do that too. Ruler, right? From mere trifle to epic deed, every decision or every choice you make will influence the fate of the Han Empire. 
Uh, we know where we are. I see they didn't tell you much. What's your first impression of me? Your mentor. Oh, he's our mentor. Okay. That's good. So you are, for I am a mere reflection of your reality. That's why I take the name of Mr. Mirage Mir. Okay, sure. To complete the test, you need to grow in power and claim the 13 regions, the 13 provinces, okay? Very well. Die well. Uh, this is a roguelite. You lose, you come back, you can unlock new decisions, replay old ones until you get to the point where you beat the game. When the moon is full, it wanes. When the water is full, it overflows. Everything has to be within its means. This is Taoism thinking right here. Uh, he is not a Taoist, even though he's kind of dressed like one in this one. Historically speaking, not really. Yes, of course. The old man disappears into the mist. As you turn around, you find yourself surrounded by a group of people. What's that in your hand? The boy points at your tracker. So I guess this thing? My tracker? I guess we're growing the scholar side of things. We're not from here. This is my new invention. My father sounds like such a buffoon. He talks about politics. Show some respect. We're really maxing out our scholar side of things. The length of the funeral procession I just saw. How can Confucian followers justify such extravagance at a time of war? Well, the reason for this is because of the recommendation system. To get a job in the Han Dynasty government, you have to be recommended. And the way that you get recommendation is that you have to show virtue. And there's not many ways you can just artificially show virtue. It's very subjective. So one of the few objective ways of doing so is through filial piety, which in this case would be, you know, your parents' funeral. You have tomb guarding for three years. You want to give them the best, you know, burial vessels to, you know, provide for them in their afterlife, which is why you have a lot of rituals of, you know, big funerals during the period. Yeah, so that that's the reason why. And man, we're really going with the scholar side of things. And indeed, my father is so fragile, he'll hold my family back if warlords attack the village. What would you do? <laughs> I guess we can we can kind of lose a few points keeping things in equilibrium is killing 100 people a bigger crime than killing just one um not necessarily we're losing the people here a fight broke out in the town square want to bet who will win so we can risk some supplies, basically. The old but angry farmer or the weak but clever merchant. We're going to bet on the farmer. And we win. Need my warning, only a fool consumes shell uh, shellfish during the summer month. Oh, this is like Chen Deng dying to a parasite. All right, heated. I spent all day collecting oysters from the beach. Is it safe to eat them this time of year? Are we in the summer month? We're in January, so we're not in the summer month. But why is it 90 days? All right, you'll be fine. We get oyster, okay. People and supply went up. Where do our interests lie? Do you support the old turban or the empire? Uh, empire. Cavalry. Okay, Neil old dog. I know you stole our supplies. Alright, no need for violence. Villagers come protect us. And we get a fight! Yes, 
So it's deck building. And do we have anything else? I, I think we only have ourselves here. If we have more characters, we can, you know, build the deck better, but. Ah, start a draft. Fishermen. No special ability. Villager, when this unit is removed, it heals the neighboring ally. No special ability. He has a lot of health. So this is our deck. These are the only three cards we have. So I guess there's no redrafting here. We just basically confirm. Now, does it matter who starts? I guess we'll... So this is attack value, right? Strength. And this increases every turn for us. Or every time we attack. So the fisherman has strong attack, I guess, here. Well, anyways, let's confirm. Fight begins. Each card has two important values. We're getting the lesson now. The arrow shows the strength, how much damage you inflict. And the heart indicates the health. And some cards have abilities. I guess these do not. Select a card. What next? Move left or right to use a card. Attacks all enemies. Ooh. Wait, do we just rotate? Oh, and then the card that rotates over attacks. Each move costs one action point. Once you use up, your enemy will take their turn. So we do want to attack frequently with him, but let's throw him out there. We take one, we take potentially two. He should still live. Did they get three moves? Okay. Enemy took your front unit. Your supplies are now vulnerable to attack. Ah, we're protecting the, the supplies in the middle here. Okay, let's... We get three moves now. Okay, that makes more sense. We're gonna get stronger here. And the math doesn't add up for us killing him, but we will kill him here. We'll basically... Waste the damage, but we'll put him in the front. He's gonna die and kind of heal. That'll be fine. Wait. Rotate, please. There we go. Still getting used to the controls. It's a pretty interesting combat system for what it is. Wait, how do I attack? Oh, I can attack supplies. Do I just win? Okay, so if it doesn't block, we just win by taking the supply. Interesting little mechanic here. And we unlock multiplayer, sure. Thank you for your help. My son and I are headed to the North Gate to join the Yellow Turban Rebels, really? You don't look like rebels. Yep. Our choices are limited. They promise us food. That's the reality. That is true. That's all it took. I mean, gotta eat. We have new reinforcement. What's the next card? Astrologer. But no special abilities. I like the fact we get a tank here. And take the farmer here and that's our deck changing the yellow turbans are criminals they ransacked my home and took all my valuables indeed they did how terrible sandals for sale this is Liu Bei. i only work with but why is he oh we're at zhijo so we went north we went way north compared to where we were Yes, please we know who he is as the merchant measures your feet you notice how pendulous is 
earlobes are. He has giant earlobe, according to romance. A sign of good fortunes. No bait. I'm descendant of the house of the emperor. Imperial relative, self-claimed, and probably, you know, difficult to confirm. Yeah, why the side hustle, huh? Well, the reason is he has to track 300 years to the line that deviated from the ruling bloodline. So Liu Sheng is his forefather that he claims. And Liu Sheng was the brother of the emperor at that time. So they are close. They're in the same branch. But because he is not the one who became heir and became the emperor, he became a prince. So he became uh, Zhongshan Jingwang, Prince of Jing in the Zhongshan Commandery. And Liu Sheng had a wonderful life living as a prince. He married quite a bit and had over a hundred sons. Uh, and from those sons, Liu Bei claims that one of them is his line. Now, when you have so many kids, not all of them can become princes. Princedom is a title, it's a loyalty title. So you get a princedom, so Zhongshan, the entire commandery, is Liu Sheng's. When he has so many sons, only his chosen heir can also keep the princedom title, but he can't get everything his dad has because he has to split the tax income from the land with his brothers. Now obviously he will get the biggest chunk because he's still a prince. The others are less fortunate. They'll lower themselves to like dukes and so forth, and they'll have smaller pieces. And what happens is every year, all the nobilities that have these titles have to pay tribute to the court. And the reason for this tribute to the imperial line is that we are going to have an annual worship of our ancestors, so forefathers of the imperial line, and you have to pay what's called an alcohol tax. So because during these rituals, you're supposed to bring alcohol to your forefathers, and that's part of the ceremony. So either you can provide the alcohol, there is a certain set amount that you need to provide depending on the size of your given title. So if you have like a small county, you only need to give a small amount of alcohol. And if you have a bigger county or you have a whole commandery under your title, you have to provide a lot more. Now, obviously, alcohol, you can you can trade other value for it. You don't have to transport the alcohol literally to the capital. It's not efficient that way. So you can pay it in gold as well. Now, the problem here is if your tribute arrives in the capital and they can deem the alcohol purity to be low or if the gold purity doesn't match the standard requirement, then you lose your title. And that's what happened to Liu Bei's line. So centuries ago, maybe two centuries ago, Liu Bei's line basically lost their nobility title. They're still related by blood, but you don't have any of those tax benefits every year, and you're basically poor. You're basically living as a regular peasant. And by Liu Bei's time, they're selling sandals because his dad died young. Now, Liu Bei's dad was actually a minor government official, so he's, they're not that badly off. It's just that he died already by the time Liu Bei was a youth, and he had to basically sell sandals with his uh, widowed mother to make a living. So that's basically how it is. And we're going to respect that. I invented a new game. I uh, throw a stone at a patrolling guard and then run. Uh, we don't really want to play that. Not really. Show some respect. Let's do not really. And she throws and hide behind. So basically we get in trouble for it. And uh, here comes a soldier. Sell out the girl. Take the hit. Uh, we have very high people. We might want to lower it a bit. Yeah. The state is in deep trouble. It's time to prove your loyalty to the Han Dynasty and fight against the rebels. Alright, sign us up. We get a cavalry. Attacks the enemy in front and its neighbor. That's quite good. What's the next card? The archer. We'll take the cavalry. That's three cards. If the field's only four people, 
I mean, that's only like one additional. Oh, we also hit the supply with the archer, but I'm going to take the cavalry here. Hmm. Just by art? Which I can't guess because we're still in Zhou, so. Maybe Liu Yu? Who knows? Who are we fighting? Who, who, who? He's recruiting us, right? Let's bow. Ah, it's Lu Zhi. Uh, Liu Bei technically didn't work under him during this period, but he was picked as the first commander to fight the Yellow Turban, so that part is true. It looks like our scholar, uh, our scholar bar is too high. Let's not say it's an honor. Can't wait to fight. A general gets a large shield, wins at the front, blocks two damage. Useful. Officer, when this unit's removed, it heals. Uh, it's a stronger version of the peasant that we have. Let's get a general. I hear you're new here. Have you heard about the enemy leader Zhang Jiao's magic? Alright, I'm intrigued. Magic Buster. The Jung brother. So what do we do here? Defenders are frightened by Jung brother's magic. They claim they can control wind, summon thunder. I mean, in the novel... You break this with, like, dog blood and chicken blood. Let's see. Sounds unlikely. What did you see? They cast spells. Millions of soldiers charge out of clouds of black smoke. Black smoke. A puff of black smoke buried us. Everyone in the front row died. Thanks heaven I was at the back of the formation. Do you hear anything? A deafening rumble of thunder. Is there also lightning? Are we trying to solve this through science? Because I don't think that's how the story... Wow, I worked it out. What, how did they do it? It was a wand? It's gunpowder? Are we trying to... Okay, let's, let's see what happens here. Um... Let's see, early forms of gunpowder perfected during the Silm Dynasty, invented by the Hun. I think, yeah, I think it's the Silm Dynasty. Or technically when we had it. I mean, it's been used in alchemy. That predates this period, but... So we completed the event already. How do we defend ourselves? With water. Oh, they're going up pretty high. Let's fight. I'm giving you 500 soldiers. Hold off the enemy for as long as you can. I'll attack the rear with the main army. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, we do get to fight the battle, right? Of course, we'll lead. Okay, so we just basically start draft and we get two random cards and we can redraw if we don't like what we get. So Ludri is here. He heals one health every time he attacks. Interesting. Total health is a little low, but I think we can live with this. Ooh, who do we have here? Yellow Turban Commander, if this unit survives attack, it becomes a 2-6. So we need to one hit it. Really? I guess that can only be activated once. Zhang Jiao, when an ally is removed, it is instantly replaced by a ghost army. Zero strength, but two health. Helps protect the center, I guess. Zhou Cheng eventually will work for Guan Yu. Fictional character, though. When attack, switch health for strength. Ooh. Don't attack him until we want to flip that. No special abilities. Okay, couple of fancy cards here. We still want to build up our attack. Now, if we attack this, he gets to become a 7 3. Or 5 3, because we'll hit him for 2. 
Not sure we want that. Hmm. We don't need the heal right now, but he's so weak he's gonna die at the front. Should be just a three, two, three. Yeah, I mean. They basically waste all three attack and kill him. Oh, we can actually revive him. Uh, do we need to? Alright, Viltalon's in the back, so we can cavalry him. Which also hits supplies. And then we go back and build our strength up. But if they get three moves, we die. So we should sacrifice the boy here. Tank all three hits. We'll protect the supplies, basically. I'm gonna kill. And then we get another kill. He becomes 1-5. This is much easier to deal with. Then we finish the supply off. All right, eke out a win here. We fought well, we had a good str either one kind of push it over. Alright, we get an archer, no choice here. Not bad. Johnsdale will return soon. Needs you to lead the squad and camp back to the village. Let's get more supplies. What a strange accent you have. Where are you from and why do you speak like that? I mean, at this time, different provinces had like way different dialect. We traveled far. Oh, we're way over. Do we just die here? So the moment we don't balance, we die. Our name is Chenlanzi, I guess. And we unlock a few things. Hoard your possessions, lose your manners, experience reincarnation. Ah, this is the map. Okay. So we're called the Warmonger. We start out in the Din province, which is over here. I mean, this is a pretty abstract map. And then we went to the Z province over here. Z Joel. Joel means province. Ah, Lucy's back. We got punched in the face. Getting data. All right, so let's uh, let's do a second run here, real quick. Oh, we're jumping right back to Zhou instead of going back to Zhou. A cousin's death. It was a it was a female. Right, of course we are. We're a distant cousin. Okay. My neighbor's plum tree obstructs the view of my house. I'll give you a handsome reward if you burn it down. Okay, we'll do it. 
found an old burial site after burning down that plum tree. These silver coins and antique mirrors must be expensive. We'll... We'll sell them? Too much supplies, maybe? We'll die if any of them overflow or drop to zero. So it's really about balancing. That's why the health animal needs water. Pinched skin will leak out. Oh, right. That's actually true. It's basically you push down your skin. You can see how fast it bounces back. That is actually scientific. Uh, since you arrived, there have been more incidents of theft. So blame me on, on me. Those are the yellow turbans. We look different. Okay. We'll change. Okay, this type of facial makeup, not during the Han Dynasty. Find a partner. Let's find a wife or husband. Don't know what sex and gender we are here. How does our village compare? It's lovely. Uh, the 7th of July is a day of love. That is not yet true in this period. Right, no longer knew the story of the Chinese, you know, Valentine story of having the lover meet on that day. That's a story from a later dynasty. Oh, we lose Confucianism here. Training drills in the heat. Yeah, let's shift these values a little bit. Getting bored. Watch rooster fighting. We're just trying to keep everything as balanced as possible. Forced me to join the military. Play my tin. So this is the musical instrument. Uh, do as he say. Mountain imps. Drought must be coming. Right, so we do make it to the event where Luger gets replaced. He essentially has a court inspector that is sent to check on his army progress. The inspector is a eunuch because eunuchs were empowered during this time. And the eunuch really wanted to take a bribe uh, for giving him a good report. Luger is a pretty self-respecting scholar, refuses, and the eunuch sends a bad report and he gets replaced. Wait, are we in charge now? Am I Dong Zhuo? Because <laughs> Dong Zhuo replaces Luger at this point. Okay, no information. Well, Luger does not look good. Unless I paid them in gold. He refused. Yeah, that's exactly... How can we help? Reinforce Commander Huang Fu. Huang Fu Song. He's going to be the final commander who comes and finish off the old turbans. How, how do we help here? Okay. Yuzhou, close to the capital. I think we might even meet Cao Cao here. Yeah, let's go now. Much more fertile. Makes sense. Uh, Tijo was suffering from a lot of drought in the years leading up to this, which helped build the following for Yellow Turbans. All right, the art of war. Yes, of course. This is going high. They want us to spy? Okay, okay, sure. Know thy enemy. Right, let's sneak. And Tal is the cavalry commander at this time from the capital city. He did participate in this fight. Grab a drink. All right, so we snuck in. I was just happy to help. I mean, rice wine didn't really exist during this period. Rice was not a very popular staple crop, especially in sort of considered the north here in the Yu province.
This does not look like a drought. All right, but sure. Right, the dry grass is how they beat them historically. It was a fire attack at night and led to chaos. So do we just go with this option? All right, what's the plan? All right, fire attack. Good idea. There was a big reinforcement group that came, but was eventually beaten back by uh, Fu Jun. So, should I warn him? Guess what's next? All right, he goes to the capital, save his friend Lu Zhi. Let's get more supplies. Okay. Oh, they gave a whole block to the capital. <laughs> Let's attack him. Do we drop some points here? Although does not look impressed. Oh, it actually increased. How did you know that? Know what? Right, exactly. Zone Dynasty, you have to... How do you know? Ah, he's also part of the simulation. He's also a somatic tester, sure. All right, give us some tips. The central art of peace. <laughs> typing, typing. So, okay, they're, they're twisting the story. He gets a scroll from this fabled Taoist character, and supposedly it's uh, the way of the supreme peace, and uh, kind of changing the name here. All right, sending over a file once it downloads. All right, why me? Exactly, it's not like we're meeting others. I right, don't leave. Ah, so basically we, we can keep track of things. That's our player number, I guess. Cards discovered. What have we unlocked so far? Oh, dying from the fist. One of our units is being chased by old turbans. Should we go help them? More information. Ah, Dong Zhuo. Right, he went and replaced... But he's not in the Yu province, though. He should be back in the D province. <laughs> Let's side with the man. Go hold the old turban walls. I tend to more important business. That's an order. Alright, I mean, historically speaking, it's not the case. Basically, Ludra was setting up some sieges on key cities, and it needed time for the sieges to work, but the government official basically took the bribes as he was just taking it slow on purpose and wasting the government time. Dongjo picks up the job and forces the siege, and it backfires because it wasn't ready yet, and they lose the siege attack, and uh, Dongjo gets in trouble. Ah, Zhang Fei? Ask him for help. Liu Bei's back. Who's the other one? Guan Yu. Got the Swarm Brothers. Guess we get their card. Yeah, we'll lead. It's basically our card versus the general card. What can Liu Bei do? Strength equals the combined strength of all, all allies? That attack this turn. Directly attacks the weakest enemy unit. So snipes. Trigger this unit to get one extra action point at the start of next turn. Cost two supplies. So basically transferring a supply over to the next turn. But cost two to get one? Oh, supplies, the thing we're protecting in the middle. Interesting. 
Uh, we'll take the three brothers. Drowna has no abilities. Feel bad for the brother. Basically, this will become a 2-6 anyways. I should have put myself not in the front, but it's okay. All right, he gets a free heal off of that. We gotta build ourselves up. We might die in the front. Actually, we will die in the front. All right, because it's three actions. I mean, everyone can die in the front here on the first turn. Nobody will die. Why you will die? Ooh. Okay, we'll just brute force. They can kill one every turn. Ah, spin. And then we just hit the supplies. One move for the two. We used it last time, we could have killed them. Oh, they're using the move. Guess they're trying to revive? Interesting. We get. We do get an extra move. get the win here. Alright. Uh, we don't want to grow that bar anymore. How dare you. Right, this is from Romance, straight from Romance. Talk about ungrateful. Yeah, I want to lower that. Oh, wrong choice. Have we met before? Yeah, what about me? Right. They died of disease. Zhang, Zhang Zhao died of disease about six months into the rebellion. <laughs> Sounds like a cover-up, because we know who he is. Alright, so we got ourselves some followers after the war. And a greater income. Ooh, that's growing a little bit tough. Let's give them some supplies. <laughs> You're a little old to become a eunuch. They take kids, not old people. <laughs> Mr. Wei of Yan Zhou. He's careless of wealth, but is, is careful of virtue. We'll spend supplies? Good. This is Tsao Tsao's territory very soon. Wait. Okay, I mean, yes, the court position job did become a thing. <laughs> well, that's not really how it worked when they were selling official jobs. All right. 
Want to lower that bar? Raise our military strength. We allow offenders to bail themselves out of jail if they pay. Good idea. Too much supply, but we can use supply when we move around. Okay, so is this Mr. Way? Wei Hong? Okay, we have a lot of supplies. Let's spend it. <laughs> Matchmaker. All right, let's meet her. All right, nice to meet you. <laughs> Marry only for love. We're in the wrong period for that. Trying to balance here. All right, recipe for good wine. We are in Yandro. Remarried after her husband was killed in battle 10 years ago. What is Gant? That is not true, actually. Remarriage of widows during this period was quite common and was not seen as scandalous. Uh, gotta watch out for this. Alright, so that's our wife. Let's drop it down a little. Alright, good wine. I mean, our bar's pretty healthy. All right, let's learn it. See, they're featuring a lot of rice here. And that's just not really historical. Eight time filtered. This is not the right dynasty for that type of tech. I'm gonna lower that. Nye batch spring fermentation completed. Um, sure. That's going up too fast. Are you pregnant? <laughs> that was my first. Okay, both options are, are you pregnant? I mean, the, the ball wasn't invented yet. The food, the bun. It will soon, it's in this period. All right, we're having kids. Do you like... Can we lower the value? Oh, that's dangerous. Managing people should be like shaping clay. Every piece has to fit the mold. Ooh, can we drop? Oh no, it went up. Because it was the scholar one. Uh, it's okay.
Oh, I feel like we can lower it with this. Phew. Um, not exactly how it worked, but it will help us here. Let's lower it again. have a illegitimate child. With your name on it. What? Number number 577A72. We don't have a name right now in the game, but okay. Oh, Jiangdong, the south, porcelain. It is beautiful. If you lend me some money, I can hire princes and expand our business. A lot of money. Alright, let me try. Twin brothers, hungry like the wolf, never leave the other side. Whenever there's food, they rush to it. Your teeth. Or, or chopstick in this case. Female scholar? That didn't really exist. Very rare. But you have to come from a really wealthy family. Maybe the military will... Uh, trying to lower the military value. There we go. But this goes up. Uh-oh. We killed someone. We hide it. The horse's eye. Why do we have equality talk right now? I mean, female status was not that low during the Han Dynasty. Ooh, poor yield. But do we do we actually get more food? Oh no, we get less food. What? That's sick. Yeah, go away. Uh-oh. Every commoner believes they are my equal who will fetch water and run the mill for us. I guess we die here. We found a new way to die. Quan, Quan Tong. I guess we are cousins to the first character. We got married. We solved the riddle. And we in experience incarnation. <laughs> Lose your manor, discover Mr. Mirage Mir's hiding place. Should be in the Jin province, gain his trust. And I guess we get to uh, continue from the point instead of going back to the beginning. But we're going back to the main center for now. I do. Will we just jump right back? My lady, or we became the husband. Okay. Yep, 
Plain co color clothes. We need supplies. Decorate. Let's do snake. Yeah, because the founding emperor slayed a white snake before setting out to start the Han. Take away their food? Right, this is a common problem. If you have a bad harvest, you can't pay tax, you're going to be stuck selling your land, and then you basically have no land in the future. You have to work as sort of kind of tenant farmers, and things just get worse. Let's drop it down a little. Yeah, the absence of action. Wait is considered the highest virtue in Taoism. It's basically think of as there is a natural way to things, uh, life to ruling in the court. And if you impose your senses on that, like an emperor, if he makes a rule, you're disrupting the flow of nature. Think of it as capitalism has like a set of supply and demand that brings it to balance. You have any sort of external force you're sort of offsetting that natural meeting point of supply and demand kind of like the invisible hand sense and taoism has that applied to everything in life and for the early period of the western han the emperor and the court actually followed this uh, until confucianism really took over right following the order of nature Let's do it. Let's convert to Taoism. That's what they should be doing. If you dream becoming a butterfly, oh, Meng Die. This is a another very common. It's, it's a very well known story. Counterfeit coin. That's not a thing, actually. Personal mint was allowed as long as you had the same quantity of copper in it. That's the goal of Taoism. 81 different kind of herbs, just missing one. Balance. All right, let's go. Huh, who has a bird? Ah, Mihung. <laughs> he is a very tough debater. Uh, so best describe as the person in your comment section that you really want to kick out, but you can't because, you know, he's a well-respected scholar until he eventually, you know, ends up with Huangzu and gets executed. All right doesn't have a job for someone as talented as me. Oh, do we really want him as a visor? Sure, let's see how bad can it be. Right? Managed to offend everyone. 
attracts one damage from every... Oh, he helps us absorb damage. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Everyone hates him. He's a taunt. He's a universal taunt. He's a paladin tank for us. If we allow taxes to be paid with iron and bronze, we can make better weapons. Sure, less food, but we don't... Yeah, we have a good enough military. Ooh, lineage of confusion. In Beihai. Coral. We're gonna meet Coral here. Are we gonna move around again? I guess we do. Easy way to spend supply, I guess. Color colorful. True. See, that's a proposal that's also had that Coral disagreed heavily with. Ah, colorful. Color of yellow, I see. See, this is this is problematic because you're actually taxed for this. If you have a overage daughter, you pay a higher tax for having a basically a female dependent in your household. Yeah, in the military. Okay, poetry. Sure. Something else. Aren't we the widowed wife? drop this but I don't really want to drop this Ooh. here's come coral benevolence all right we found him Heals. Can we get rid of cards? Or is that a deck? Alright, happiness of people, but then this overflows, or else this drops to zero. We're, we're gonna die the same way. <laughs> we're gonna get burned. We favor the people too much, nobility burn us down. We change clans because we're the wife character now. They're giving all the wife character two character names, which I guess kind of makes sense. The female characters. All right, we visited the capital. We lose your manners, become a duke, become a king, build a palace. And here's where we're actually going to stop. Three lives, that's enough for now. We'll come back and try this out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments section below how you think about the game. It's actually kind of interesting and seeing some of the historical aspect kind of play into it does make it quite interesting. And uh, we won't be answering her because it'll drag us right back in. So until next time, bye.